All right, the recording has started. So good morning, everyone. We are all. So we are on day two of week seven. Um, Okay, uh, well, I'm not really sure why it's it's saying that that the call has switched to another device. Like, I'm quite confused. Uh, Okay, is there anyone from the Tan Academy team who can support this? Emtina, Rahmet, anyone? Okay, guys, allow me one minute because it's getting me in and out and I'm not sure why. So... Rahmet is here, maybe she can. Come again? Rahmat is here now. Maybe you can ask her. Oh, okay. Rahmat, good morning. Uh, can you help me join using Ten Academy? Mine is having troubles. Yeah, okay. Mine too. Oh. Um, Yours as well? Yes, mine as well, but I'll try again. So just give me a minute. Okay, try again. Let's just start with the standard. Okay. Yeah. Let's start for now. Uh, this uh, when I get kicked out, keep keep sharing. Uh, but let's get started. So uh, with the uh, quick check in, how is everyone doing? Any reaction? Any words? One word in the comments. In the comment section, how are you feeling? How are you starting day two? Hello, okay, I'm seeing uh, people are excited. I'm seeing good, I'm seeing some Vuvuzela. That's super amazing, super, super amazing. All right, thanks everyone for sharing. I hope we get the energy because uh, we need it as we are progressing actually towards completing part two of the training. So that's super amazing. So let's go ahead and start with the um, uh, start with the stand up. Uh, but before we get started, Rahmet, anything you want to say? Anything regarding any presentation that might happen? Or are we going to go with the normal flow of question and answers and reporting in general? Yes, and nothing new. Let's just go. There's nothing to announce. Let's just go with the formal flow. Okay, that's super amazing. So let's go ahead. Let's get sharp people to raise their hands and share with us uh, how was yesterday specifically, what were you working on individually? And also if you had something you were working on with the team, what was it? And, you know, 
what's the progress so far? Like, tell us how was yesterday on your side in general. And also, uh, if you have any question or any blocker or discussion point you want to raise, please raise it. So it's the normal um, stand-up routine. Let's get started. Get started. You are welcome to raise your hands. Fikri, okay, Ahmed, really super amazing. Let's get more people raising hands. Let's have more people. Okay, Hillary on the queue, that's super amazing. And let's have more, more people. That I will, today I will call out the ladies in the house, Sheila Mahbuba, Salamawit, Mr. Yerusalem. Anyone, please raise your hands and uh, share with us. So we will get started with Ahmed first. Hello, good morning, everyone. I hope you heard me well. Yeah, we can hear you. Good morning. Okay. Good morning. Uh, for yesterday, I spent the day uh, trying to understand uh, the project since uh, it's a little bit confusing for me. So uh, I spent all the time reading about drugs and long chain, uh, but I still missing this uh, chain or connection between how I uh, can connect the prompt generator uh, with RAG or how I can do the both thing. So this is my question. Okay. Um, is there anyone from the team who can answer the trainings based on your understanding of yesterday's about presentation? Hilary, will you be able to? The raising hand, did I close that? Or? <coughs> uh, good morning. Uh, good morning. Yeah, so I, okay, uh, integrating prompt generator, uh, I'm not sure about that, but uh, I've been trying to uh, first get uh, um, use RAG with Langchain. So, first of all, like, uh, there is, uh, there is, um, there's this resource I've been seeing uh, to integrate RAG with uh, Langchain. But when you start, you you can pass in the prompt initially and then have uh, have like data sources uh, that will be a context like a book PDF. And then uh, RAG will, will get your question and, and get there. But uh, that will be manual for the prompt. Uh, like you have to pass in manually. I don't know how to generate it for now. Okay, I am in, in the same step here. I I understand this part, but I feel like uh, we ignore the the generating part if we if we did this if we just did this. Okay, maybe I can say something here. So basically, what is required is to be able to uh, create a system to create prompts. Based on a user question, I mean, a user question will be passed on, but we want to, uh, you are, you should have be able to generate additional prompts that are better questions that you can pass for a rug for or for other purpose. That is the purpose of being able to generate an automatic prompts that can help the user have a better questions for models. So where, where rugs comes in is if you want, maybe have uh, a group of prompts. Maybe you can base your prompts based on uh, just to, to retrieve a data. You can use make the generation part might not be important here, but you can use the retrieval part of RAG, and you have some data that you have put in data representation in some vector store. You can be able to access those data for the and pass it to the LLM, so it can be able to generate better prompts for user question as uh, as a sample, or you can just have a simple rug on some particular PDF, and you can help users to 
you can just give it a long training uh, just to show on your project if a user asks a question on that particular PDF or something in the rack, and you should have a separate, of course, function uh, for that fit for that PDF to answer the right answers and generate additional prompts. So those additional prompts will also give a, a better answer, which you can evaluate using that rag pipeline you just built. You can also do that. Uh, and evaluate those points, how accurate their accuracy, how good they are, which you have to also manually prepare test cases to test those prompts and you work pipeline outputs, uh, which you can do this, uh, you can do also this part. Um, is that clear or am I? Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's clear, a little bit clear now. So uh, I have two options, right? I can use the uh, rag as a, uh, a, data, uh, a retriever for a specific uh, article or information, or I can use it as a, a retriever for prompts. Is this right? Yes, just when you, uh, yeah, as, as a retriever from prompts, but when I say that you, it doesn't mean when you, some, a user asks a question, that question will be passed to the RAG system, and the RAG is not retrieving uh, similar prompts to that question. Um, again, it depends on what kind of prompts you will put on the retriever, but it's just like an information that you can feed to the model to generate better prompts. The prompts at the end will be generated by a model, so. Uh, just when you, if you know how I understand rock, right, do similarity search. So if you pass it that, that particular prompt question to your rock system, if it does have a similar prompt to that question, it will uh, output those prompts. It will uh, prompt, but how, uh, what kind of PDF you put matters. How related questions are you putting for some service? You can choose maybe a scenario. Uh, a case for maybe handling customers for a particular business type and the type of pdf file or prompt pdf that you are feeding to rock has to be specific to that uh, particular scenario otherwise your prompt generation similarity search will not quite found the right prompts if you are using directly the retrieval to generate prompts without using more, uh, the LLM or the language models so you have to know what kind of PDF you are passing if you are going with that way. Is that clear, Prof. Man? Yeah, it's it's clear. Uh, thank you. Yes. Okay. okay, let's just go with other people. Absolutely. Let's go with Hillary. Hillary, good morning. Good morning. Uh, uh, so uh, yesterday I uh, I was in uh, Lake on weekend. I wasn't I wasn't feeling that better, but yesterday I I had an rest and um, I'm better now. And uh, so I started with uh, learning, understanding how to use RAG uh, to get the sim get uh, responses that are similar to the query. Uh, even before using uh, OpenAI, so that's that's where I, that's where I marked. And now I'm, I'm just trying to understand. Uh, I'm just trying to uh, since now Rag is giving me like three different responses for the same query. Now I want to use like uh, OpenAI to get the better response uh, to return one, and then to to now automate the prompts. Uh, that's what uh, I'm planning to do today. Uh, but my, also, my my question also is about the prompt generator. Uh, like, um, I, I think there's a kind of GPT-3, you can use it to generate prompts. Uh, I don't know if that is the approach you should be using or, um, yeah, I, I mean, I, um, I don't understand how it, how we should generate the prompts before even uh, before we even test them. We should kind of come up with prompts that are relevant to or related to the other one. 
So how you will do, you can use any module, whatever uh, module do the job, you can use them. So you can use it, so you can use GPT script, whatever is best. Anyway, how you will command the case with using context, you can give the context. So if the user question is not going to be a question that uh, you expect the LLM actually to give answers to, instead it will be a sample question where you're commanding the LLM to prompt another prompts, possible prompts to that similar to that question, which are bit better. So you will play how you instruct your, the, the model. Is that? Uh, yeah, that is that is better. Thank you. So you'll have the, the question, the, pro, the context, and the generation will happen at the end. It's just one way, it could be other ways. You just, you, can, you guys are welcome to explore. Okay, Pascal. All right, uh, let's proceed. I lost my line because of the key calls. My cue, who was next after Hillary? Can you raise your hand again? Yes, Mahbuba, go ahead. Okay, hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, we, yes we can. Okay, good morning, everyone. Uh, to update my status, uh, yesterday I was reading about Torah in front of train. I think I'm um, a little bit familiarized about the project. And, uh, today I will continue. Uh, reading and start uh, the project. And do we uh, do we need the API key for this project? As my question. Sorry, Mahbuba, you are asking open AI keys. I didn't hear the question. Do we need an API key for this project? Yes, I think you will need one. Uh, we will out of it for Kashta. We probably will need one. Okay, thank you. All right, so uh, we can progress to Air Salam. Hey, everyone. Uh, so, yesterday, uh, I was trying to understand about track uh, and to understand more about the project. And I was uh, going through the materials. And my question is, uh, are we going to use the vector database uh, for RAC? Yes, you need to use vector database. You have data, so PDFs that you are using for your work pipeline, you need to store them in the database to do similar research later. Okay, thank you. Okay, great to hear you. Uh, let's go ahead to Abraham. Okay, good morning, everyone. How are you doing uh, about my progress? Uh, I've been doing some research. I've been reading those materials that you guys have been gave us on the challenge document. There is a lot of materials to go through, and uh, some of the concepts are pretty advanced, but they are interesting. I'm trying, I'm getting a sense of like what kind of um, solution we are going to build. Yeah, my progress. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, we will ha I have a tutorial. Uh, if there are something, I'll drop. Uh, 
upstairs. And plus, we will have a rat tutorial later. So you, can, you guys can ask there as well on the tutorial session. I think we can learn something that. Yes, you know, it's individual project. Okay, Pascal. Okay, all right. So actually, we can go ahead and hear from Henok. And a good morning. How was this today? What are you working on? Uh, good morning. Uh, like most people, uh, yesterday I was just reading about RAG. Uh, I've understood some, but not entirely. So I plan to keep reading today and hopefully start the project. Okay, all right, keep it up. Uh, let's go ahead and then hear from um, Tamskin and Cheru and Melaku. And can you can go first. Hello, good morning, guys. Uh, I'm I'm in a good mood today. Uh, I, I have researched some some of the links from yesterday, and uh, I have no question for now. But I'll keep reading and I'll look forward to rather or later I will have questions later on for Mohammed. Thanks. All right, keep it up as well. How about you, Cheru? Good morning. The address, Cheru? You are muted. Okay, in the meantime, Melak, you can go ahead. Okay, thank you. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Uh, okay, so uh, like everyone else, I was uh, looking at the challenge of document yesterday and uh, today too. So I, I, I'm trying to understand the, the concepts and I'm trying to go through the documents as there are, there are a lot of documents shared so i'm going to most of them and trying to understand the concepts so far okay all right i'll keep it up my lock on your side too um okay. how about you good morning Yamusi, can you hear me? Yep. Morning. Yeah. Okay. For me, uh, yesterday also, I was reading about uh, this week project, and at least uh, I've understood some few bits. And yeah, I think I'm excited for this week's project. Okay, great. Keep it up as well. And uh, we can take one more last person who is uh, Joseph. Joseph, good morning. Um, good morning. Uh, yes, um, so um, um, this week, um, yeah, so today I am trying to uh, ravel through the documents requirements and also the deliverables. Um, also doing a bit of research on the rugs and the uh, long chains and the resources that I don't know. I've seen like Hillary has uh, posted some something on uh, the all resources channel. So yeah, I'm still um, wrapping my head around this week's project. Um, but the, however, I am looking forward to the project. Hello. Okay. Yes. 
who was speaking. Okay, all right. And thanks a baby for sharing in the chat box as well. And uh, please keep it up with uh, reading the challenge and also understanding every concept. And of course, to everyone, uh, like how we always do, do not keep any question to yourself. Like, try everything you can. And if something is still confusing, reach out to any colleague or even on Slack all week seven. That would be super. So if there are no any other questions, then Rahmet, I can pass it to you if you have anything to say. If not, then we can close and call it a meeting. No, okay. All right, everyone have a great day moving forward and all Okay, so I was kicked out. <laughs> Have a great day moving forward, everyone. Thank you for joining.